Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile in this 2017 Audi TTS. It's, it's not straightforward at all, it's uh, quite complicated. Now, the best way I've found anyway, and I, I, to be honest, I, I never read the instructions, so I, I've just kind of muddled through it. But the easiest way I've found is, if you click on menu, then you scroll or turn to telephone, click telephone, and you come up to a screen that says connect mobile phone. However, what you want to do here when you get to connect mobile phone is the silver button on the right of the rotor control. Click that and then you've got connection manager, Bluetooth settings. So click on connection manager, primary phone, and then you go down to the phone you want to delete or deselect, whatever you want to call it, and then you click the, this right button again. You, you don't tick anything, you click that. Then it brings up another menu. Display Bluetooth profile store as default, delete Bluetooth device. That's it, it's, it's deleted. It, it's, it's awfully complicated for what it is, way, way too complicated for what it needs to be, but that's how you do it. Unfortunately, you don't have to do it very often. Okay, I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this uh, 2017 Audi TTS, I'm forgetting what it is there. The first thing we need to do is make sure your Bluetooth's on. And then we're watching out at the bottom. It's already come up. That's that's what this is uh, is called. This the mobile in here. So click on that. Bluetooth pairing request pair. And on here we've got to click accept. Does this pin match the pin on your Bluetooth device? Yes. Allow contacts and favourites to sync. And that's it done. It's a whole lot simpler pairing a a, <laughs> a phone than it is deleting one. And there, it's just, just said that it's uh, set up for audio and for uh, calls. Barry's iPhone 12 uh, Pro is connected to the MMI. Would you like to set Audi Connect up now? Well, I don't, we, we, we haven't got time, but uh, that, that's it. Okay, I'll just show you how to um, stream audio, play music uh, through the Bluetooth audio system in this um, 2017 Audi TTS. This, uh, this vehicle's also got Bang & Olufsen speakers and they are brilliant. So first of all, we go, I'm trying not to cover this camera up here. So first of all, we go to music. You'll see at the bottom there, that's showing there's a tick next to the, the this system. Uh, if not, then of course you just need to click like so, tick on it. And then we go back to the record. I'm gonna turn it down, click play. And then we go over here. If I go to media here, Click back, actually, I'll just, so that, that's the normal screen you would, would be on. If I select media, that's external audio player. So I click back again and you've got auxiliary. That's Bluetooth, select Bluetooth. It's showing all night long. I'm just gonna turn that down a, a, a little bit. That's, I could have sworn I'd turn that down, but anyway. So there we go, we'll turn this up. No, it's, it's just automatically turning up with this system. Yep, it's just going straight back up. That's uh, that's a blow. What if I turn it down like that? No, it's just going straight back up because it's connected. As soon as you get in the car. So I'll, I'll control the vo volume with this. On the, the dash there, it's showing all night long, rainbow down to earth, and a picture of the album cover. It's a really great dashboard and great system. I'll turn it up. <laughs> it's a wild system. The only thing with this is this car. Right? <laughs> I'm not sure what you'd want to listen to. The engine sound, <laughs> or the uh, fantastic Bang & Olufsen speakers. Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this 2017 Audi TTS. Um, there's, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You've got nav and map here, so if we click that forward, uh, that's asking me where I'd like to go. If you click it forward again, it, the whole screen becomes a, the display for the sat nav. Which it's, it's absolutely fantastic. But we want to find, we want to find a place. So there you go. Where would you like to go? Click on there. Uh, so let's see. We're Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Walney Dale, Preston P R.
PR. Across to the numbers there, you scroll right to the right and select numbers. Five, four. Now we need to go back to letters. So all the way to the left. E. A. That's it. GB Preston, England. So if I just knock the selector back and then navigate or just turn to where I want, where it's highlighted, start route guidance, that's what I want to do, start route guidance. That's it. It's, uh, it's a really simple way. Um, I think also you can do it by voice activation. So if I, tr if I try that, I, I never find this easy. Route guidance. No destination entered <coughs> yet. Your destination, please. Please state addresses in the order, town, street, house number. Swinton, Horton Lane, 96. These are your results, including the addresses in United Kingdom, Swinton, Morton, England, or another entry. So it's Swinton, Manchester, so I turn that down to Swinton, Manchester, click OK. The street, or say start route guidance. Horton Lane. The house number? 96. Swinton. Horton Lane, 96. Got I stop over now. It had start route guidance and I want to replace the active destination there. So I just click on that, start route guidance. That's it. <laughs> you can now navigate to where it all started for me 63 years ago. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.